Hi guys, welcome to my English channel. So today's tutorial is all about sculpted highlighted skin, which I love. It's great for photos. It's gonna be beautiful for the holidays now. Using the new Narcissist unfiltered palettes, there's number one and number two, which is a warmer one, and unfiltered two is a cooler one. And the reason that I'm loving these palettes is because they go with all skin tones. So if you're lighter or deeper, there's a palette for you. So unfiltered one looks like this with a more RNG packaging. It's like a mirror package, which I love. I love packages, you guys know that. And it's a warmer palette with beautiful warm shades. And the great thing about this palette is that you can use it on your skin as bronzer, blush, highlighter, and also on your eyes or lips. So it's a very versatile palette, which is always a plus for me. Uh, I also use it on my eyes. You see it on tutorial, okay? But uh, this one, unfiltered one, is the more warm one, like I said. And another great thing about it is that it comes with shimmery and matte finish shades. So here we have a beautiful highlighting color. We have coral, we have more of a bronzy one to contour. We have this orange one, which is a very bright one for blush, and these two more rosy ones, which is great for blush as well. I am going to swatch it, but let me show you the Narcissist 2, which has more of rosy shades. So there is a highlighter as well. There is a more bright pink blush, shimmery, pinkish light pinkish blush rosy tones as well peachy more of a light peachy one in my opinion for these two if you have a darker skin tone I will go with this one if you only want to get one palette and if you have a more fair skin I would go with this one but both will go with any skin tones like I said in the beginning so let me just swatch it so you can see it better unfiltered one first this bright blush this beautiful bronzy one, here we go. So this is exhibit A, Takeover, which is the more bronzy one, and the coral one is Meet First. Swatch a few from the more cooler one, which is the Unfiltered 2. Love this color, which is like a rosy, it's a perfect color for blush. The highlighter and this pinky one. So this one, which is a more rosy blush, is the Candid. The highlighter is Hot Sand. And this pretty pink blush is Power Play. I'm kind of like doing a tutorial and review at the same time. Since there are new products, I know you guys like to see it. I decided to show you. You guys love swatches, right? <laughs> so I will be using shades from both these palettes on today's tutorial. I will be using not only on my cheeks, but also on my eyes. And yeah, I really hope you like the tutorial and let's get started. Okay, so since the tutorial is going to be focused on cheeks pretty much, I have done my foundation, concealer, and the eyes. I'm going to finish the eyes with you guys. So I used this beautiful coral shade, which is me first, on my eyelid. And I blended it all over from the inner corner to the outer corner. And it really warms up your eyes. And here, close to my lash root, I just applied a brown eye pencil and smudged it. And I'm also going to highlight my eyes using this palette. I'm gonna take this beautiful highlighting shade right here, which is Watch Me. It has a goldish undertone, so I'm going to highlight under the brow. Now we're gonna move to cheeks, which is the focal point of this tutorial, right? So today we're gonna sculpt our cheeks and highlight it. And when it comes to sculpting your cheeks, it doesn't mean that you have to use a matte finish product. When you use a matte finish product, it defines your face more, but when you use a shimmery finish product, it will highlight your face more, and that's what I want to show you today, how to contour and highlight at the same time, okay? So we're gonna take the same unfiltered one palette, which is the warmer palette that I used on my eyes. We're gonna take the brownish on the corner here, which is Takeover. With a angled brush, we're gonna apply it right here under your cheekbones and blend. 
This shade is beautiful and it's very pigmented. And the rest on the brush, I like to apply it on my chin. And look at that. It already makes my face thinner, which I love. And now before we highlight, I like to highlight first and then blush, okay? So before we highlight, I like to touch up my concealer. And today I'm going to use this new concealer by NARS, which I am already loving. It comes on a little pot like this. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I'm going to use the same shade that I use for the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is Custard. And I'm going to just apply it here under my eyes more close to the nose to highlight yes concealer does highlight your face which is amazing highlighting with, con with concealer is always like my finished touch to the skin it makes such a difference there you go and now we're going to highlight the face and I'm going to mix the two highlighters on these two palettes of course you can use just one it's gonna look beautiful but mixing the two is gonna be very unique so I'm gonna use from the same warm palette unfiltered one I'm gonna take this one that I used on my eyes which is more like champagne with a gold undertone and I'm gonna also use this one from the unfiltered 2 palette which is more of a cool palette it has more cool shades like the pinks i'm gonna take this one which is hot sand and it's more of a champagne-y color so i'm gonna take my fan brush with hot sand first and i'm going to highlight my cheekbones and this one is a more subtle um, highlight it would be perfect for like your everyday and then watch me, the more goldish one is more of a night highlight. But mixing both will give you such a unique color. Look at that. Ooh, I love highlighting. The rest here under my brow and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Highlighting makes you have like, it seems like you have like baby face. Not baby face, um, the boneca, how do you say? Doll face? Doll face. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. And now we're going to apply blush. And I'm so confused on what blush I should use because there's so many beautiful shades. I'm gonna use a blush from the warmer palette because my eyes are more warm and the lips too. So I'm gonna use the beautiful coral shade here, which is Me First. The same one that I used on my eyes. Apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Wow, this is so beautiful on. It's a very highlighting blush, which is what I want. And there you go, that's it. So we used shimmery shadows for all of it. The contouring, like the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight, of course. And it just have like a very glowy, skin but subtle at the same time so for the lips i used a shade raquel raquel from nars as well she's a very beautiful nude i'm gonna touch it so that is it guys i really hope you liked it so you have very glowy beautiful skin it will be great to photograph it when you're going out to a party but even during the day if you're doing selfies uh, you can definitely wear this during the day it's very glowy but it's like a um, natural glowing skin with some makeup on of course <laughs> so I really hope you like it and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next these sculpted highlighted cheeks would be great for the holidays now so I hope that you recreate this with me and I'll see you next time stay beautiful Mwah. Bye!